Think. Act. And prosper. You are now tuned in to the Money Level Show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Money Level Show, where we think, act, and prosper. So in recent news, we got our headline CPI number, which came in at 8.5%. So we're seeing that inflation is continuously running hot. Now today we're going to look at if these numbers actually make sense and what we're seeing today with our actual eyes, with our actual pockets. And so let's go ahead and dive into the CPI and just kind of look at what the CPI rate would be if it was calculated by the earlier methods that the government used to use, right? So let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, so as you can see, we are on the bls.gov. This is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So it is a official site for the government and the statistics that they put out. And so let's go ahead and look at CPI. You go to the front page. Um, this is what it says. It says that the consumer price index, um, CPI for all items rise, rises 1.2% in March gasoline, shelter, food indexes rise in March. The consumer price index for all urban consumers rose 1.2% seasonally adjusted and rose 8.5% over the last 12 months, not seasonally adjusted. The index for all items, less food and energy increased 0.3% in March, up 6.5% over the year. All right, so you can see that the CPI is made up of these different items here. So for example, if you click all items, it says, you know, 8.5%, click on food. It talks about food at home being up 10%, food away from home, being 6.9%. Uh, so this is a this is for March uh, and this is a year over year basis. So it is up 10% from food at home compared to March of 2021. It is up 6.9% uh, food away from home compared to uh, March of 2021. Right. So that's what we're looking at. All right, so then, um, I mean, if you click on food at home, you can go more into detail. Talks about cereal and bakery products, poultry up 13.7%. That's meats, uh, eggs, fish, uh, especially when you look at the price of beef and all those different things. Uh, those prices have been going higher. And you look at things, other food at home. I mean, this is... Um, Let's see what's in here. Well, actually, it doesn't even show what's in here. So food is up 8.8%. I believe it's higher than that, but that's what they say it is at. So energy up 32% year over year, right? So when you look at energy commodities, uh, fuel is up 70% year over year. Uh, I mean, 70% higher than March of 2021. And then you, this is oil, fuel oil. Then you look at gasoline, all types, um, it's up 48%. It doesn't show what's actually in there because when you click on it, it just goes back to the beginning. But uh, going back to energy, then you have energy services up 13.5%. Uh, electricity is up 11.1% year over year. Natural gas piped is up 21.6% year over year. All right, so then you go to other other items such as uh, all items, less food and energy. So they're saying that inflation is only 6.5% if you do not calculate food and energy, which food and energy are the most, some of the most important things that people need on a day-to-day -day basis. So they're saying that inflation is actually lower if you minus food and energy. So I don't know why you would even minus that because people have to get to work. People have to you know, turn on the lights in their home. Uh, people have to feed their kids, you know, things like that. So I just don't understand that. But if you go here, uh, commodities, less food and energy is up 11.7% uh, year over year. Uh, this goes into some of the other sections such as apparel. So you have new vehicles that's up 12.5%. Then you have used vehicles, which actually up 35.3%. Um, medical care commodities, 2.7%. Alcohol, 37 Tobacco, 69 
So, you know, if, obviously if you click on it, it's not showing that. Then it says services, less energy services. So let's see what that's about. So shelter is up 5%. Now this right here, this number right here is actually not accurate at all. Um, I heard they do something called owner's equivalent rent, which isn't like uh, the actual rent that people are actually paying. Uh, they actually just interview um some homeowners and what would you charge yourself rent for living here and it's not like what the people are actually paying for for rent so up five percent i believe that's baloney uh i know people's rents who have gone up 250 dollars a month uh so that's a huge increase it's way more than five percent but i mean maybe it's case by case basis or something but i think the rents are higher than that uh then medical care services up 2.9 percent and then you have transportation services up 7.7 percent uh, year over year. All right. So that is the government numbers for CPI. So we're going to go ahead and look at the shadow government statistics. So this is shadow stats. They actually um, calculate CPI a lot different. They use the old methods of uh, CPI, uh, which is, I believe, from the 70s. And so they calculated a lot different and our numbers are way different than the actual government. And so uh, they actually have a subscription service where you can sign up if you want to know uh, more accurate numbers on that. Uh, so uh, looking at, you know, their numbers here. So it says just a flash from April 12th. Year over year, inflation continued to surge in both the March 2022 headline consumer price index and the shadow stats alternative CPI. With both measures hitting new multi-decade highs, circumstances in place before Russia invaded Ukraine are exacerbated by the same. All right, so it's saying that in March 2022, CPI annual inflation hit a 40 plus year high of 8.54%. These are the statistics that we read from the government from the BLS site. 7.87% in February. So it's up. All right. The steepest inflation pace since December of 1981. Now it says March of 2022 shadow stats corrected alternate CPI estimate hits 17.15%. So measured by the old way that the government used to calculate inflation, the things that they calculated in the inflation uh, back then, the equations that they used, uh, CPI is actually at 17.15% up from 16.05% in February, the steepest inflation rate since June of 1947 in 75 years. So you have shadow stats, which is actually using the old way that the government uh, calculated inflation because they actually manipulated it and changed it a couple of times. I believe one time was in the 90s and they may have done something uh, recent in, in the 2000s or something, but uh, they're calculating it from the old way. And they're saying that, OK, if we would have been living in the 70s, this would have been 17.15 percent CPI. Right. So that would have been even more alarming for people. But 8.5 percent sounds less scary to people, you know, so. Uh, we don't have people running for the hills of gold right now, you know, and everything. But, you know, demand is picking up. Uh, it says in like manner, the March 2022 CPI W used in Social Security cost of living adjustment calculations were the 2022 COLA based on third quarter 2021 was 5.9 percent, hit a four decade high of. 9.36% up from 8.60% in February of 2022. All right. So the cost of living adjustment for Social Security is, is different. Um, the way they measure that, the way they uh, calculate how, how people get Social Security because it's totally because basically a fixed income or whatnot. So they calculate the cost of living different in a obviously use different numbers than we're experiencing. I mean, so if you're getting a, you know, a 9.36% uh, cost of living adjustment for social security, for your social security check, but the actual inflation rate is 17.15%, then that means that, you know, you're actually, you know, losing money. I mean, your expenses are getting more expensive and you're not getting more money for your social security. So now uh, just looking at the producer price index, uh, this hit a 47 year high since 
1975 year over year uh, inflation rate of 15.9 percent so these are like the uh the prices that it costs to produce the items that that stores have to buy in order to sell us those items to sell us those goods so how much does it cost to produce those goods and then those costs get passed on to the businesses and then the businesses pass those costs on to the consumers so uh the ppi is up you know 15.9 percent um you know, year over year in March. So that's what that's looking like. And I guess compared to the government statistics, it says that the final demand producer price index, PPI, FD, uh, year to year inflation rate was 11.2%. Uh, so it's a new record high and all of that. But uh, compared to the old way that they used to measure inflation, this is not uh, the truth. So I want to hear from y'all. What are y'all experiencing with inflation? Drop it down in the comments. How intense are the price increases that y'all are experiencing? How far are you seeing your dollars going during these times, these inflationary times? Do you believe the government or do you believe shadow stats in terms of inflation? Uh, drop your comment down below. I want to hear from y'all. And I want to thank you all for joining the Money Level Show. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe. And y'all stay tuned for the next video. Peace.